don't forget to look up. She gave his name to the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees me. For she said, I have now seen the one who sees me. Genesis 16.13 I once heard a story of a young boy who went with his father to a neighbor's cornfield to hold a bag while his father filled it with stolen ears of corn. Just before the wicked work had begun, the child noticed that his father climbed up on a fence and looked all around, north, south, east, and west, to be sure they were not seen by anyone. The boy, observing the father's precautionary measures, took him gently by the hand and said, Father, you forgot to look up. Never was a word more fitly spoken. It felt like a hammer, like a thunderbolt on the heart of that father, so he went home to steal no more. It is a shame that such a simple childlike truth has not penetrated the heart of everyone. As the psalmist David said, Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? Psalm 139.7 Wherever we go, whatever we do, he is there and he sees. I have often said that there are always three witnesses to everything we do, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We are always being watched. Let us never forget to look up, remembering that Jesus is always looking down. The eyes of the Lord are on every place, beholding the evil and the good. This devotional was taken from the Reverend Steve Hill's book, Daily Awakenings, and I pray you have a blessed day.